about doing something this stupid. We've all seen the headlines. Some wacky situation or freak accident, and we wonder, what in the world were they thinking? In the winter of 2010, I had a situation that could have been one of those headlines. There was three things wrong with that evening. First, it was snowing outside. Second, my friend and I were out in the snow. And third, did I mention my friend and I were out in the snow? <laughs> there was still no Michelle. She was late again. My stylist agreed to take me to my sister's house so I could wait. Soon, it was just extremely late. And so I called Michelle. Girl, I don't think we're going to make this event. Maybe you should turn around. <laughs> or stay in this freezing cold snowy ditch with Michelle. I stay with my friend. Eventually, even the fire department came to check on us. They were looking really bad. Come on, lady. Yeah, you want to come? Good. Michelle told them that we were fine. But I was not fine. I was cold and I was hungry and I was irritated and I just wanted to go home. <laughs> you would have thought she had a Mercedes the way she was carrying on about that car. Instead of that little Prius we were riding in. We were finally pulled out. And thankfully, there was nothing wrong with the car except 
<laughs> My nerves were torn up. Now, I'm not a drinker. I'm really, really not a drinker. But we had some wine left over from New Year's. So I poured a glass. Well, a glass. <laughs> Michelle and I had quite an adventure that evening. We didn't come with those headlines. And our relationship will never be the same. Because friends who go through craziness together, stay together. Pause.